First of all, I want to uh, thank my wife Elizabeth for uh, everything that she had to put up with in this campaign. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank my running mate, Tara Samples, who I could not have had a better running mate. Uh, And I want to thank all of the volunteers here, yes. representing so many, such a diverse collection of love people you, from all, I love you too, <laughs> from all over Ohio. <laughs> and thank you, thank you for your uh, efforts today uh, in, in getting out the vote, in reaching out to uh, all the different uh, uh, and diverse areas of this state uh, there are many people who could not be here because uh, they, they were working uh, 150 miles or so away, but we thank them too. And uh, after I get through with the statement, I'm going to be spending some time the rest of the evening with all of you. I, I want the younger people here in particular to know this. Uh, my political career started a long time ago, and I've had uh, many more victories uh, uh, than I've I had uh, the reverse and I want to tell you that vi uh, victory and defeat are part of life. They're opposite sides of the same coin. So you have to, as uh, I think it was T.H. White said in his book about King Arthur, you have to learn how to triumph equally over victory or defeat. And so we move forward. And as we move forward, we move forward uh, in the interests of the people of Ohio and in the interests of the people all across this country who want Democrats to stand for Medicare for all, universal, single payer, not-for-profit health care. <laughs> all across, you know, across the state and certainly across the country, Americans want Democrats who will stand for clean air and clean water, and we don't have to choose between pollution and jobs. We're moving towards sustainability. All across this country, people want Democrats to stand for higher wages, such as a $15 minimum wage. All across this country, people want Democrats to stand for at least two years free college. All across this country, people want Democrats to stand for public education once and for all. People want Democrats, people want Democrats to stand for criminal justice reform once and for all. People want jobs, not jails, and they want Democrats to stand for jobs, not jail. And on everywhere, people want safer neighborhoods. And I am convinced, in talking to people across this state, that people want Democrats who will stand for safer neighborhoods and who will stand for getting rid of these assault weapons once and for all. Now, the people of Ohio uh, made their uh, conclusion today in this election, and we have to respect the results of this election. I always do. We respect the results of elections uh, when we win or lose. Uh, I, uh, I want you to know that ab about 15 minutes ago, I contacted Richard Cordray, and I congratulated him on his election. And I think that all of us here should join in congratulating him on his election. But we move forward. We move forward in a cause that is uh, much bigger than a single campaign. This is a movement. And it's a movement that involves uh, people of all colors, of all economic uh, situations. It's a movement that involves the heart and the soul of this state and of this country. Now, a woman who has been with me in this journey, who is, represent, who is a woman of, of heart and soul, a woman of, of passion and a woman of conviction 
to represent the people in the city of Akron. I want to introduce now and ask you to join me in giving a tremendous and rousing uh, applause and appreciation to Tara Samples. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I, I love you too. You know, I just want to say I love you too, baby. Oh, they got my grandbabies. I'm sorry. I love you all. And I just want to say it has been such a journey uh, being able to build a movement in this state with our young people. I want to tell you all this is about you. Everything that we have done in this space and in this moment, it is about you all. And as you all continue on your journeys, we will be there standing with you. As you advocate for change in your communities and your neighborhoods, we will be right there with you. This is your moment and your time, and we are just honored to be on this journey with you. This is, this is not a loss. I need y'all to understand that. This is bigger than just Dennis and I. This is about you all. And we will be there with you every step of the way. There is an election every day. Remember that. There is one every day. And we continue to fight. We continue to knock doors. We continue to go out and galvanize and energize and find those people who want to step in this space, who want to lead, and we support them in it. So I just want to say I thank you all, and I love you. I love you all for knocking on the doors that you did. I mean, just to see so many people of all walks of life step on into this journey with us, I, I, my heart is full, and I thank you all. And, and Dennis and I are really brother and sister. We just <laughs> wanted to wait. <laughs> and, and I tell you, I, I, I truly, I truly, care and love Dennis and Elizabeth, and they are our family now. And uh, it's because of all of you. We traveled this state and talked to people of all walks of life, and we build a relationship in doing that. And it's a forever relationship. And this is what it is all about. Yes. This is what it's all about, so I thank you. Thank you, Tara. Uh, just, uh, just a just a few more. We're going to come around and thank all of you individually, uh, but there's a few more people that I, I want you to uh, uh, join me in thanking. I, I want to thank uh, Antoine Samples, uh, Tara's husband, Antoine. Thank you. And I want to thank someone who has been uh, my friend uh, for almost all my life, and somebody who I've worked with closely in this campaign. Uh, you and the media know him well, and I ask all of you to show your appreciation for Andy Juno. It's Andy, thank you. <laughs> and to uh, George Korn, to Liz Rogers, to Matthias Dedimore, to uh, Maddie, and to all those who couldn't be here. I, th I, I thank you, and we're going to come around and say thank you to each individual here. Uh, I, I mentioned Eric Moore. I, I want to make sure, Eric, that you know that, you know. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to go around and say hi to people. I know there's some questions out, out there, and, you know, we'll probably get to some of them uh, before the night's over, but my, our first obligation is to go out and, and talk to the people who have worked their hearts out in the last uh, few months to uh, bring this campaign uh, into uh, a competitive position. And, uh, but what I'd like to do, Tara, you know, when we started this campaign, we started with a prayer. Absolutely. And I want to conclude it with a prayer right now. I mean it. Go ahead. Absolutely. So, uh, Lord, thank you for giving us this opportunity to be of service to you in this campaign and to bring forward the concerns of the people of Ohio. Thank you for all the people, young and old and of all colors, who came forward to uh, join us in this effort. Thank you for our spouses who have been with us every step of the way. Thank you for the great staff that we've had. And thank you for, uh, for your 
uh, will, which is always going to be done and which we certainly always accept and are grateful for your blessings. And thank you to the people of Ohio for giving us an opportunity to, uh, to travel this great state, to meet with them and to see uh, the challenges of life that they face and to give us an opportunity to share uh, our vision with them and their concerns with us. And so uh, we, we look forward to what uh,